AOC in her dress at Met Gala. Oh, the Indians. big one. Ending on the big topic. Good one. Look, this this needs to be addressed before we begin this. This is a poll, all right? Some th- this needs to be answered definitively. Is AOC hot or not? <laughs> what? That's not even Panthera. That's just. That's we all... No, that's a genuine inquiry. I cannot make up my mind. Yeah, dude, I, hot. I, it's so hot. weird. She has one of those. It's the Seinfeld episode with the woman in certain lights looks like a supermodel, and in the other ones looks like a donkey. Oh, shit. Jesus <laughs> <Christ. Panthera>. is, it, <laughs> is it wrong? Panthera, Panthera. Uh, uh, is it wrong? Is it wrong? Come I on. was what? more interested in the politician that she is. And I might, I just want to say I'm very disappointed in her Met Gala attendance. I just got, I just got a text from Beatrice to, uh, affirming AOC is hot. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Well, can you get the poll going? I want to see who stands on which side. And also, you can make the third option of, like, certain lights. Dude, okay. If you look at the comments right now, everyone except for MKAZ, you, is a hot. Okay. Well, I'm just asking the question. Someone needs to. MKAZ, you, says a massive no. And I'm, I'm a little weirded out by it because if she's not hot then i don't know who the fuck is but that's not the point the point is how the fuck i'll tell you who's hot rose bird she has a little thing called class no tax the rich shirts at the mitts for her (laughs) there's something nice and golden you know i thought you were gonna say rosie o'donnell (laughs) well some things are beyond a joke aren't they (laughs) I don't think that I don't. I think the audience is just like we're not doing that poll. I don't think they're interested. Yeah, All right, well, give me this poll then. Who's hotter, Rose Byrne or AOC? Here's the poll. Who's Rose Byrne? She's that Australian Here's the poll. actress. How many times do I have to tell you who Rose Byrne is, and for you to look her up and say, "Oh yeah, she is hot." Have you <sighs> seen Bad Neighbors, Miss? Oh, Seth Rogen. okay. Yeah, you did tell me. Yes, she is very attractive. I'll give you that. Yes, yes. All I ask. No one has a problem with AOC being a socialist and attending Met Gallows. Yeah, I really don't see why everyone freaked out about it. I don't know why it was a talking point. Is What's it just the- because the word tax was on her ass? No, I don't, know. I don't even care about the tax bit. Well, that was just cringe. But more <laughs> the fact that her... Was it, did you think it was cringe? Yeah, of course it was cringe. Because how could you go to Met Gala, dress up, take photos, and also say tax the rich? It's just, you. I understand how it's the perfect place because it's just filled with rich people. But also, if you're a socialist, stop attending Met Galas. That's right. not, that, that is not a place that you should be Ali, fighting for. the counter people, argument. Right? She got the message tax the rich into every media publication on earth she just True. wore it on her ass and she looked like yeah. an ass wearing it well but she did make the message got across though no it didn't well now all of a sudden how we're could it have not it was on her ass text. <laughs> well i mean it was it's a it's a lame way of getting an att- getting attention but dude any attention's attention right no but this is not gonna help uh, tax the rich it's just, just going to give ammunition to mm. Ben Shapiro to right. tell how True. much of a hypocrite you are. And you are a <sighs> hypocrite. Like you're yeah. attending a function that is attended by the elitist of the elite. And y- you, you're you getting invited there, which sort of tells you that you might be losing a bit of your uh, mm. working class credentials. But not only do you go there, you wear tax the rich as like a big fuck you. That mm. just shows... Tax me. That's what it's showing me. She's just really? what I think is the bigger point of all of this. It drew my attention to what the Met Gala actually is. What and is it? I what think is it? what everybody doesn't get is AOC's dress 
was the least disturbing out of all of them. What about oh, yeah. Lady Gaga taking the burger to the next level? Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. What? What? What is this thing? What? What? So they just it's a chance to dress like an idiot. Is that it? Miss, yeah, Miss. Just look up Kim Kardashian Met. It's okay. horrifying. Okay. And Miss, that's not the worst. And also explain to me how is like the burger wrong and this okay? Hold on. What am I? What, let me see. Let me see. Kim Kardashian Met. Met, hold on. Met Gala. She's wearing a full on. She's oh, for fuck's sake. Hands. What? 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 <laughs> what? What is with like the the couple of like Kim Kardashian and Kanye obsessing with wearing balaclavas? It's not edgy, dude. Get over it. Well, now we've solved the bigger problem, which is how dare Kim Kardashian? Dude, what is okay? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm saying it. I'm putting it out there. Fashion is fucking stupid. Yeah, fashion is stupid. Like, what? What is the point of this? Like, how is it? How, these aren't statements. It's just, I just look at it and I just think meaningless. It is so meaningless. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not opposed to art and culture, but like, surely this is just taking the piss. It's just. Like, I think you're opposed to art and culture, Miss. I mean. Uh, it's an excuse for art and culture. It's like, this is artistic. How? How is it artistic? So you think that's more offensive than AOC wearing tax to rich on her ass? I don't know if it's more offensive. I just think it's... I'm not offended. I think the whole thing is stupid. And you so, know what, though? I think that I'm, I'm kind of offended by the whole thing because it really just... Look at the dresses and then look at the costumes in The Hunger Games. Exactly. It's the same thing. I look, I, I'm probably just softening my old age here, but like, I don't know. I think the AOC dress is the least offensive dress, dude. Yeah, me too. I think the same. It's the least offensive. It's like, look, the problem is, I, I was, was a fan move. of hers. I generally, you know, all the stuff that you guys hate about her policies, I actually like that. I don't hate stuff about her policies. I think she's, some of her rhetoric is, I like I, I think she's like spot on with a lot of stuff and I think that with a lot of stuff it's just placating and virtue signaling that doesn't mean that I think a lot of her policies probably are, are good yeah they are good but I'll use something that will trigger Jordan but I think she missed the mark with this one <laughs> yeah I, I completely disagree I think that she was spot on for doing it I think that things like that are great and why not take the attention? Mm. Draw it on yourself. Honestly, up until then, I didn't like anything she ever did publicly. I thought she was just annoying, just some chick that like hammed up being from the Bronx being like, you know, you know, you know what she reminded me of, which is exactly what she is. It was like, you know, one of the B-team panelists on the Young Turks now in Congress. Right, Ugh. right. You know, I'm kind of getting to the same conclusion that I think people of your yesteryear had. But And also, this is Bill Mars as well, but can everyone get out of politics until they're at least 70 years old yeah i agree with that oh yeah, reckon, like young people in politics actually, is always cringy or uh, maybe, maybe they always actually make know. an ass of themselves but, like okay. they literally made an ass of herself i i agree with all that but just one don't you think her wearing tax the rich at a met gala is a big fuck you to the working class because it's basically, she's trying to justify her attendance, really. She's I saying, can sort of oh, see yeah, that. Yeah, I'm going to the Met Gala, but guess what? I've got tax to rich on my ass, so that makes it okay. I just want to say... See, it I do see not, your point. I do, make it okay. um, I do see Ali's point. So you, is, think, uh, you know what? It's just the, the intention that it conjures up in your mind. Because my intention when I see that is just like, she was thinking, yeah, that's sick publicity. And I think, yeah, great. But if you sit there and you think like her, just some annoying chick being like, I always wanted to go to the Met Gala. Oh, fuck, fuck. Junior Bernie Sanders. Um, but, okay, okay. Is this a stretch? Too much on my ass. 
I know people, there's a lot of people that aren't for me with this one, but is this a stretch? <clears throat> a politician should be slightly different from Logan Paul? Yes. Yeah. Ob- obviously, they should be. But come on, that's Trump's whole shtick, being Logan Paul as president. Yeah, yeah but that like, shouldn't be... And it was bad, should... with better times, as we just said in this podcast. No, on a serious that, note... That shouldn't be the fucking benchmark. Yeah, and, and Trump was horrible as a president. I, I know I said all of that in terms of his foreign policy, but domestically, he was one of the worst presidents. Yeah, but uh, he got it, there, and it, like that's the whole game of politics is to just grab attention. Yeah, but like, that's how did not he the grab whole, attention. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. be the Why whole is thing? AOC such a phenomenon in the US? Because, because she just very... because ninety percent of the people just wrote, "Yeah, she's hot." No, she's she's Jesus. clickbait. She's clickbait friendly. Why? Because she says stupid she, shit. Is that why? She well, some would argue on point shit, but the other adversary would argue stupid shit. Either way, everyone wants to talk about it because we're talking about it as well. Mm. Yeah. I think uh I don't know. I I like uh I, I don't know, I don't know anymore. It, like I, I, dude, I'm going down this fuck rabbit hole. I was watching, I was actually watching Bill Maher, some old Bill Maher thing. And they were talking about, there was a guy on who was talking about how social media was supposed to uh, bring everyone together and create a diversity of opinion. And what it's actually done is the exact inverse of that. And what's going to happen is that's going to proliferate, prolif- like k- continue to get worse and worse and compound and get worse and worse. And it's just, never going to get better and it's going to get worse and worse. And it's like, it kind of makes sense to me. And I, I'm trying to figure that out. Like, I think I, I'm trying to figure out whether getting off every single form of online media or social media is like, should be, should be a mainstream state of mind. A mainstream state of mind. Yes. What? most think, people should get off social media they don't it's the opposite most pe- it's just more and more people yeah, yeah just just remember who pays your bills me <laughs> what what are you talking about you make a living because of people using social media youtube isn't social media what are you talking about what the fuck is wrong it, with you so what, Mitch, what do you think social media is tiktok and that's it tiktok instagram twitter not youtube YouTube's- it, youtube is social media well, we're all right now. What you're on right, right now, social media. What it's is... much just any media that you can do with like no basic investment, really. No, you can interact with people. Okay, fine. Okay, okay. So you can interact with people, but yeah, okay. just think okay, about okay. any platform where people are talking. And there's not really expensive yeah, okay. cameras zooming in on them with a little Toyota slogan. Sure, sure. sure, but like I think video footage is a little bit more fluid than a fucking a fucking photo media where you're just sending photos. And Twitter, which is like what a hundred characters medium, there's a little bit of a distinction between talking to people as if you're face to face, as opposed to ten fucking sentences that just gets uploaded into the fucking into 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 the hemisphere and then it's just endlessly there's like a there's like a a need to feed that this is a little bit different to that i'm not talking about it's need for speed (laughs) i'm not talking about this i'm not talking about i'm not talking about (laughs) youtube i'm not talking about actual media like videos i'm talking about instagram and twitter and facebook yeah but that's just magazines magazines and community newspapers but look all i'm saying is that is got it, the effect that is having on politics and on people's mental health and psycho and state of mind is like dismal and profound yeah well that's where i would say that you as in the individual audience member should get off it. However, due to the fact that the English language doesn't have a plural of you, I also mean when I say that you shouldn't get off it. Hey, there is a plural. It's called use. Yeah, I thought you were going to say that. Thank God. Here's the, here's, Finally, yeah, here's... can we just introduce that already? 
it's no, there. It's introduced. It's not there. It, I, I, <laughs> or what, I look in the dictionary. I know it exists as a word. Joy, what the it? fuck is wrong with your palm? What did you do? Yeah, what did you write on it? I drew a cool picture. What oh, I thought it was a burn mark. Oh, that's Look, a cool. That is a dude. That's like a Picasso. You yeah, like that's that? Really that's the, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna that as an NFT. Yes. Get this sweet Mary Titi, bro. That's <laughs> sick. All right, boys, we're overtime. Okay, just remember, everybody, tax the rich <laughs> <laughs> and sign up to the Uplay Patreon because that's not social media. Yeah, facts. I don't All care right. what you tell me. See you guys next week. I'm